Ever pondered on the question, what actually are space and time? These enigmatic entities that we navigate daily yet understand so little about, have been the subject of human curiosity since the dawn of civilization. The universe, in all its infiniteness, provides a vast canvas where these two interwoven concepts play out their cosmic dance. In the ancient world, space and time were considered separate entities. Space was the stage where events unfolded, and time was the unending river that flowed independently. This was the classical view, the Newtonian perspective, where an apple fell from a tree and the planets orbited the sun, all following the universal clock ticking at a constant pace. But as we ventured deeper into the cosmos, both physically and intellectually, we found out that this view was far too simplistic. The universe was not merely a stage, and time was not just an unalterable current. They were not separate, but intertwined in a four-dimensional cosmic fabric known as space-time. This marked a revolutionary shift in our understanding. Our perception of the universe has always been limited by our position within it. Just like a fish, unable to comprehend the world beyond its pond, we humans, bound to the third rock from the sun, have always struggled to grasp the true nature of the cosmos. But we never stopped questioning, never stopped exploring. The ancient Greeks saw the universe as a set of concentric spheres, with Earth at the center. Then came the Copernican Revolution, placing the Sun at the center and dethroning Earth from its privileged position. Later we realized that the Sun was just one of the countless stars in the galaxy, which in turn was one among billions in the universe. With each paradigm shift our perspective widened, our cosmic insignificance became more evident, and our understanding of space and time evolved. The most significant of these shifts was perhaps the one triggered by a patent clerk turned physicist, Albert Einstein. The understanding of space and time experienced a major shift with the introduction of Einstein's theory of relativity. Einstein's groundbreaking work not only challenged the existing notions but also paved the way for a new understanding of the cosmos. And that's where we'll head next. Einstein's theory of relativity introduced in 1905 challenged our understanding of space and time. Imagine a world where space and time are not separate entities, but rather, they're intertwined in a four-dimensional fabric known as space-time. This is the core concept of Einstein's special theory of relativity. Before Einstein, we used to think of space and time as absolute, independent realities. But Einstein, with his revolutionary theory, proposed that space and time are intrinsically linked. Picture space-time as a vast rubber sheet. When a massive object like a star is placed on this sheet, it causes the sheet to curve or warp around it. This curvature is what we perceive as gravity. The more massive the object, the more it distorts space-time, and the stronger the gravity. Here's where it gets mind-boggling. According to Einstein, nothing can travel faster than light. The speed of light is constant, no matter where you are or how fast you're moving. This means that if you were to observe a beam of light while racing alongside it at nearly the speed of light, you would still see the light beam moving away from you at the speed of light. This is counterintuitive to our everyday experience, but it's one of the cornerstones of Einstein's theory. Einstein's theory also led to the famous equation, EMC squared. This equation tells us that energy, E, is equal to mass, M, times the speed of light, C, squared. In other words, mass and energy are interchangeable. This has profound implications, ranging from the workings of nuclear power plants to the immense energy released in supernova explosions. Einstein's theory of relativity changed our perception of the universe, but it also raised more questions. For instance, if space and time are interconnected, what does this mean for the nature of the universe? And if mass and energy are interchangeable, what does this mean for the fate of the universe? These are the questions that continue to guide our exploration into the mysteries of the cosmos. Space, as we perceive it, is not just an empty void. It's a dynamic, ever-changing landscape, alive with energy and matter, an intricate tapestry woven by the threads of time. But what exactly gives space these characteristics? Let's start with the concept of bending and curving. You see, space isn't a two-dimensional plane. It's a three-dimensional reality that can be distorted and shaped. Think of a trampoline. When you place a heavy object in the middle, it dips down, creating a curve. Similarly, massive objects like stars and planets curve the space around them. This is what we call the curvature of space. Now, what about expansion? For a long time, scientists believed that the universe was static. 
However, observations of distant galaxies have shown us that the universe is expanding. But it's not just the galaxies moving away from each other. The very fabric of space itself is stretching, like a balloon being inflated. This expansion started with the Big Bang, and it's been going on ever since. But space isn't just passive, it can also be active. Enter gravitational waves. These are ripples in the fabric of space-time, caused by the acceleration of massive objects. Imagine throwing a stone into a pond. The stone disturbs the water, creating ripples that move across the surface. In a similar way, when massive objects like black holes or neutron stars accelerate or collide, they send out gravitational waves that ripple across the universe. These waves were first predicted by Einstein in his theory of general relativity, but it took over a century for us to develop the technology to detect them. Today, these detections provide us with a whole new way to observe the universe, opening up a new window into the cosmos. And there you have it, space in all its complexity. It bends, it curves, it expands, and it ripples. It's a living, breathing entity, always moving, always changing. The properties of space are intriguing, to say the least. But what about time? Time, a concept we all understand, yet it's one of the most mysterious aspects of our universe. It's easy to grasp the idea of time as a linear progression, a constant march forward from past to present to future, but that's not the whole picture. Thanks to Einstein's theory of relativity, we now understand that time is not absolute. It's relative. Let's think of time as a river. From our perspective, we might see it flowing at a certain speed, but for someone else, in a different part of the universe, that river might appear to flow slower or faster. This is the concept of time dilation. Here's where it gets even more fascinating. Imagine a massive object like a black hole. Its gravitational pull is so strong that it actually slows down the flow of time. That's right, time itself can slow down. Now that's quite a thought to wrap your head around, isn't it? But there's more. Enter the block universe theory. This theory suggests that the past, present, and future all exist simultaneously. Just like a loaf of bread where every slice represents a moment in time. This means that all moments are equally real and existing at once. We, as observers, are merely moving through these moments, giving us the illusion of time passing. This perspective challenges our everyday understanding of time. It forces us to rethink our place in the universe, our perception of reality, and even the nature of existence itself. Yet despite these mind-bending theories, time remains a mystery. It's still an enigma that continues to challenge our understanding, to push the boundaries of our knowledge, and to inspire endless fascination and curiosity. Time, like space, is full of mysteries, but there's one more thing that's intriguing about our universe. Our universe was born in a state of low entropy, but what does that mean? Well, Entropy is a concept in physics that describes the degree of disorder or randomness in a system. The higher the entropy, the more disordered a system is. Now, when we talk about the birth of the universe, we're referring to a state of extremely low entropy, meaning a highly ordered system. Picture a perfectly stacked deck of cards, that's low entropy. But the moment you start shuffling, you're increasing the entropy, the disorder. This is a bit like what happened after the Big Bang. The universe started out perfectly ordered, but as it expanded and evolved, entropy increased. But why did the universe start in a state of low entropy? Well, that's one of the big questions in cosmology. Some theories suggest that it's simply a condition necessary for the existence of life as we know it. In a high entropy universe, life and complex structures might not be possible. Entropy is also tied to the direction of time. We experience time as moving from the past to the future, and that's also the direction in which entropy increases. This is known as the arrow of time. You can shuffle a deck of cards into a mess, but you can't unshuffle it back into perfect order. In the same way, you can't unscramble an egg. These are examples of the arrow of time in action. But what happens when entropy keeps increasing? Well, according to some theories, this could lead to the heat death of the universe. In this scenario, the universe would eventually reach a state of maximum entropy, where all energy is evenly distributed and no work can be done. It's a bleak outlook, but remember this is just one theory among many. The mysteries of space and time continue to baffle us. As we dig deeper, we find more questions than answers.